Hello, and welcome to the Best Practice Assessment Walkthrough. The Best Practice Assessment, or BPA, is a tool that helps customers get the most out of our technology by comparing their existing policies and configurations versus best practices. The BPA tool helps customers assess the maturity and effectiveness of their security posture and provides us visibility into how the customer is applying security policies across their organization. By implementing security best practices, customers reduce their attack surface, increase visibility into network traffic, and prevent known and unknown threats. In this short video, you will learn how to access the BPA site, create a BPA, and how to use the BPA to identify security gaps and to ultimately help improve your customer's security posture. The BPA is easily accessible from the customer success site as well as from within Salesforce. Once logged in, select the Best Practice Assessment tab. On the BPA page, there's a button to generate a new BPA, and below is a list of all previously generated BPAs. If the list is long, you can search for a specific previously generated BPA using the search field. Let's generate a new BPA by clicking the Generate New BPA button. To create the BPA, you need to upload the customer's tech support file, or TSF, that you obtain from the customer's firewall or panorama. Here, you will also find links to BPA documentation, as well as frequently asked questions. Once you've selected the TSF file, click the Upload TSF button. The file may take a few minutes based on the file size and connection. Once uploaded, you are prompted to map each zone listed to an area of architecture using the drop-down fields for each device group. If you're not ready to map each zone, you can leave the value set to undefined and click the Submit button at the bottom of the page. The next step is to provide a unique password to protect the customer reports. Then, select a BPA use case in the customer's industry. Then click the Generate Reports button. The file will automatically download as a compressed file. Upon extracting the compressed file, you are prompted to enter the password specified in the previous step. Once extracted, the folder contains three files. A spreadsheet of the best practice checks, an HTML file of the best practice assessment, and a PDF file of the BPA executive summary. Let's start by looking at the best practice assessment file. The first thing you will notice when opening up the BPA file is a pop-up window with a video. This video provides a walkthrough of the new features of the BPA. You can navigate all the new features by clicking the Next Feature button, and details about each feature appear in the lower area, as well as the date it was posted. To dismiss the pop-up, simply click the X. If you want to return to the pop-up, just click the notification icon located in the upper right corner. Note that the icon shows the number of new features. Once closed, you're presented with the Security Profile Adoption Summary heat map. Before we go any further, it's important to note that the BPA has two main components, the Best Practice Assessment itself and the Security Policy Capability Adoption heat maps. The Security Profile Adoption Summary heat map is what displays when the BPA HTML file is launched. Let's first take a look at the Security Profile Adoption Summary heat map. The Adoption Summary view provides an overview of your customer's device's overall adoption of security capabilities. The report shows the current percentage of adoption for all security profiles applied on the firewall or panorama for each metric, except industry average which provides the adoption averages in your customer's industry compared against their adoption. The higher their percentage, the higher the adoption of those security capabilities within the operating environment. You can also easily toggle between Detailed View, which is displayed by default, and Comparison View for the overall adoption chart. As we scroll down, you'll see other sections. Here, adoption is displayed as a percentage as well. If there has been any change in adoption percentage, positive or negative, since the last time a BPA was run using the device's configuration file, it will display in parentheses next to the percentage. This helps identify progress and rate of improvement in your customer's security posture. 
To learn more about each chart, click the question mark icon within each section. These icons appear throughout the heat maps as well as within the BPA, so be sure to check them out if you have any questions about a particular chart, calculation, or definition. To the left, you can also view trending information, which shows previous reports and tracks capability adoption, showing improvements or regression in security posture over time based on previously generated BPAs, as well as adoption definitions, which provides detailed information about the heat map metric calculations and filter options. Also worth noting is the Learn More link in the upper right corner that provides a wealth of valuable resources. From the Adoption Heat Map menu, you can select how you want to filter the view of the heat maps. Let's click on Device Group. In this view, the color coded heat maps show where security policy is strong and where security policy capability adoption can be improved by Device Group. The percentage value is based on the total number of allow rules. The higher the percentage, the higher the adoption of those security capabilities within the operating environment. You can also switch to best practice mode, which provides a stricter threshold in which the respective security profiles are configured in the recommended best practice manner based on allow rules. Additionally, Device Group View now has the ability to auto populate a device group's parent and grandparent device group to obtain full context on adoption. It's important to note that the BPA does not count disabled rules. If something is not adopted, it displays as 0%. Let's switch to the Best Practice Assessment. The BPA checks configurations against hundreds of best practice checks, and the BPA summary provides security control frameworks where each framework and control, such as the NIST Cybersecurity Framework and the CIS Critical Security Controls, is connected to best practice checks. Just as with the adoption summary, the number in parentheses is the percentage change in adoption since the customer's last generated BPA. Additionally, within the charts, you can click on any of the items to take you directly to the mapping definitions. Here, you can see the best practice checks for the selected item as well as the score. Clicking on any of the best practice check names navigates you directly to that best practice check within the BPA. The results of the BPA are grouped in the drop-down menu by policies, objects, network, device, and panorama. The numbers in the red circles to the right of each item indicates the failed best practice checks. If we select policies, for example, we can see to the left the different sections or areas, and the numbers in the red circles to the right of each item indicate a failed check. For any failed checks, an explanation and a recommended action to fix the issue are displayed. Additionally, you can always get more information by clicking on any of the question mark icons, as well as a video link that provides short, one-minute videos to learn more about the best practice, its security value, and also how and where to make the necessary configuration changes in the UI to fix the security gaps and pass the check. The Local Filters button enables the data to be customized as needed. The Device Info menu item provides you with highly detailed information about the device, including the number of managed devices, license information, and so on. Finally, the Learn More menu item provides valuable technical information, instructions, and videos to help you navigate and understand the BPA, as well as help you help your customer prioritize and implement best practices. Also included, the Executive Summary provides a high-level summary of the BPA and security profile adoption. You can see whether the customer's security posture has improved since the previous BPA. Since the file is a PDF, it can be easily shared or printed. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about our Best Practice Assessment Tool. Should you have any questions or feedback regarding the tool, please feel free to reach out to us at bpa at paloaltonetworks.com.